the box opening game. You know it, you love it, and we've changed the rules. You won't believe the results on this edition of Leisure Time Games Presents. Hi everyone, I'm the Ken, and welcome to Leisure Time Games Presents the Box Opening Game 2.0, Retailer Edition. You may already be familiar with how the box opening game is played, but if not, here's a basic rundown of how it goes. The player buys a box of Magic the Gathering, usually the most current set, and within a week of the release of the set. The player records a video of the packs being cracked, and any cards of note, such as rares and foils, are displayed briefly. Any card whose value exceeds $1, or in the case of some players, $2, are tallied. Sometimes the player will display a running total so you can see how well they're doing. Like this! When the value of the box exceeds the cost of the box, the player will purchase another box and the game continues. However, if the value of the box or any subsequent box does not exceed the cost of the box, the game ends. Many of the box opening game players say they are going to sell the cards to fund the next box if the tally can justify the purchase. This is why they cite one or two dollars as the minimum value for the cards, because they feel this is the least they can sell a card so they can recoup the cost of the box plus the shipping and transaction fees involved in the sale. When you're a hobbyist, that dollar or two minimum for the regular version of the game is a fine number to work with. As a retailer, though, value must be recouped anywhere we can find it. We've got to milk that profit out of every last bit and can't let any part of the boxes we open go to waste. If there is a potential for profit, we must find it and we must exploit it for all it's worth. For example, a singular card may not reach the minimum we need to be able to sell for the required profit, but do we have enough copies of that card to make a playset that will? It's a simple matter of economics. We retailers have to take into account that the cost of the box is just one part of the cost of sales. We also have to take into account the labor involved in opening and sorting the cards. Then there's the various costs of the day-to-day -day operations of the retail store, such as keeping the electricity on or the phone operating. Basically, anything you can write off as time, to us, is money. When we take all these expenses into account, we have a much larger number we need to work with to make the game worth playing, and a couple of boxes just won't cut it. And that leads us to the law of averages. If you just open a box or two, you may get that one card that tips the balance in your favor. But chances are good you won't. Therefore, the more boxes you open, the more likely it will be you will open cards of expected value and at the rate they should be opened. Some retailers open dozens or even hundreds of boxes so as to maximize the potential return on a given set. Furthermore, we can sell more than just the value cards out of the box. We can and do sell the lower price stuff too. This is where the box opening game 2.0 Retailer Edition comes in. The game plays very much like the original, only we eliminate the ceiling on the number of boxes opened based on value. Instead, we'll open a set number of boxes. For this inaugural run, I'll be keeping track of 20 boxes. We will also eliminate the minimum card value. We're going to sell everything we possibly can. The game will be played in two stages. During stage one, we'll open the packs. Then, for stage two, we'll sell the cards. First, stage one, we open the packs. Box openings will begin the Monday following the pre-release weekend. In the case of the Kaladesh set, that would be September 26th. And yes, based on the posting date of this video, the game's already started. Sorry about that. Making this video took way longer than anticipated. If you've watched any of my previous videos, I'm sure you noticed I've made some positive changes as how I do these recordings. As time goes on, I hope to continue upping the production value. But I digress. Boxes will be open periodically throughout Stage 1. I'll post a few other box openings as I play and give you updates on how things are progressing. Stage 1 will end the weekend of the Kaladesh Game Day weekend. That will be October 23rd. 
That'll give us a solid four weeks of pack opening goodness. Next, Stage 2, we sell the cards. Stage 2 begins on the official release day of Kaladesh, which is September 30th. All the cards that are open during the game will be for sale in my shop, and may even eventually find their way to eBay. No promises, though. We have a robust community here. Stage 2, and therefore the game, ends on October 27th, which will be four weeks after the official Kaladesh release date. All remaining cards will still be for sale after that date, of course. I am in this for the money, after all. But for purposes of the game, we'll use that date to compile our data and see the results. I'll post a video after I sort through it all, and I'll share what I find with you folks so you can see how it went. And so begins the first ever box opening game 2.0 Retailer Edition. Will we make back our investment plus the needed income to cover business expenses? Or will this be an education in what a bad investment looks like? Let's see what the game has in store for us. Well, that should wrap things up for today's video. Thanks for watching this episode of Leisure Time Games Presents. If you ever happen to be in or headed to the Santa Maria, California area, come on by and say hi. You can find our schedule of leagues, tournaments, and events, directions to our shop, and other contact information on our website at leisuretimegames.com. Also, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to click the like button below. If there's something you'd like to see us do or review on this channel, leave us a comment in the comment section. If you'd like to be notified when our next video comes out, click the subscribe button, and most importantly, please share. See you in the next video.